Hello and welcome to the Velveteen Lounge. We oh. have a treat for you this evening. Oh boy. We have live music in the remote studio from the clams. <laughs> All right, we got a few people joining us. I think that's hashtag gold right Hi, there, Dime, and Boom. hi, Eric. Yeah. Good to see you both. Excellent, excellent. Very exciting evening right I here. think we have two music fans right off the bat who are I like, know. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I know. Yeah, well, they should the be. The clams will be with us shortly. The clams will see you now. <laughs> the clams will see you in a minute. Uh, but in the meantime... I think it's cocktail time. Well, we already have some viewers, so let's just launch right in. I know. Yeah. Let's. Why wait? Why wait? Yeah. You know, oh, all... hi, Bill. Hello, Good Bill. to see you. Excellent. All right. Let's. Okay, I'm gonna just give it a a say. I come in pieces. What? <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh God, I have to sneeze. I um, come in pieces. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, we got a lot of people joining. Excellent, excellent. Say hi so we know who you are, please. What's up? What's up? We're excited Whoa. to have the clams here. Now, and here's the question for you. Does anybody actually still... Hi, Lisa. Still work the week as if today is... is hi, Monday? Ryan. Or is everybody sort of like, oh, my schedule's this, that, and the other. I don't know. You know, Saturday's a new Tuesday. Hard to say. It's, I know. It's funny. It's... I, I don't hear people saying that at the office, and they're just like, whatever. So it's it's funny. It's funny you bring that <laughs> up. Well, maybe there is no hump day. Maybe every day is hump day. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, loves the clams. Yes, who everybody's, doesn't? Everybody's happy around here. Who doesn't? Oh, yeah, got some love for the clams. Yes. Boom. So we're going to, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anyone yet. Clams are standing by. We're going to make a drink. I'm going to make a drink. You know, what I'd really love to do is press a button and have clams hold music come on while the clams hold. I know, like, right? hello. Duh. Oh, ah. have you thought about that? <laughs> we do own hold a copy. music. We do, in fact, own a copy of the clams. We'll see you now. I gotta decide what I want to make first. I have a couple of drinks for this evening. I think mm -hmm. I, you know what? Let's just let's just go big immediately. Or go home. I am going to start with lobster domas. Lobster domas, which I created today. That's that's definitely teenagers from outer space happening right there with the lobster, the the gigantic lobster monsters. I am going to start with one <laughs> ounce of Hamilton. Beach Bomb Berries Zombie Whoa. Blend, which is high proof, Start so, heavier, which is go why home. I'm only doing one ounce, one ounce. Of that. That's a great rum to use as one ounce. It's a really right. nice blend. It's designed to just let you catch what, up on that. Two ounces flat Hi, out. You got your Johnny. zombie going on right there. But it also blends well with other things that you might throw at it. So there you go. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Julie. Hello, Julie. And oh, hi, Marky. Hey. And Bobby. Hey, Marky. Good to see you. Yay. I, I thought we might All get right. uh, Marky in on one of these if there was live music. I <laughs> know. <laughs> okay, so. Anybody who has seen our recent motion picture has noticed a little bit of artwork in the background that says, Marky, there he is, guys. Art by Marky. <laughs> it's the man. <laughs> Actually, it says, wow, art by Marky, <laughs> which is... <laughs> I thought it was exciting. Okay, so an ounce of the Beach Bum Berries Zombie Blend Rum, an ounce of Stiggins, Stiggins Fancy, Fancy Pineapple. I'll just let you say it. Yeah, sure. To answer Eric's question, but it wasn't a rock. So, <laughs> rum gummies. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I think we're caught up. And, all right. So, next. Half ounce sour cherry liqueur. What sour cherry liqueur are you using? American fruit. Oh boy. Well, I think that the proprietor of the clams will uh, swear by this one over here. Half ounce. I have from time to time gone to like their pressing plant and uh, gotten a case worth for, for Dano. Uh, they're the, pressing. They don't of press. the clams. Well, they're totally pressed. And uh, <laughs> because they're, they're actually pretty close to us. And like, you know, when his yeah. store completely runs out, they're like, we can't get it. I don't know where to get it. So. Half ounce fresh lemon juice. We'll do the liquor run. Actually, you can go back to StreamYard if Sounds you like. Sounds good. Okay. And I'm not done. You're not done yet. You need some bitters in there. I do, but I, I, boom, boom, I boom, got boom. it from here. Five dashes Hella Mexican chocolate bitters. Some of our correspondents are experiencing some fun difficulties because, you know, life is hilarious. And uh, I uh -oh. say that with a certain amount of sardonicus. Fun difficulties? I just say, though, there's so much sit down because any, any challenges we, we face are challenges. They're just nice yeah. people. Some people will say first world problems. It might it might not be. And even if it is, still a problem. Five dashes orange bitters. Shake with ice. 
and strain into the cup. So, glass. like, you know, faith out to Eric as well because. There we go. Oh, geez. Ah, oh, hi, Carla. Errol, and hello, hi, hello. Carla. Hello, hello. Oh, and Mike's hey. having Manhattans with the fam. I believe that Dano and can hi, get Mike. behind that too. This is like a total Dano hey, show going on. And right. Since it's a Clamo show, there you go. Boom, 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 I boom. So. I really hope I haven't missed any. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh. Uh, I don't think so. I've been watching okay, very right. carefully. I'm going to see. Oh, yeah. The question is Errol not here? No, Errol's here. Skulking yeah. around the background there. <laughs> <laughs> As if. I like that sound. Hi, Peter. Hey, Peter. I would love a chill glass. Would you like one that would make that taste 73% better? Yes. Well, I think we can get that, too. Oh, off to our favorite eatery. Have fun. Hello. Bon appetit. I believe Dan can swear by these glasses, too. It's just like a total Nano thing tonight. <laughs> All right. So. Well, we went big. We didn't go I home. got a little extra here. Oh, bonus bit. Let's give it a try, and then I, I will turn bit. it over to the uh, band of the evening. All right, so I'm going to garnish with a twist. twist. I like mine with a twist. Let's see. What do we got here? All right, so... I'm going to give it a roll myself. Lobster Domus. Oh, Domus. Lobster Domus. That's really good. I don't know who you pixies are, but I sure you love your pixie drink. Hi, Findicator. Good to see uh, you. Findic. Oh, wow. Okay, more clams. Oh, wow. I love Got it. that clammy sound. Mm. Where, where the clams, uh, where the New England clams come from, things tend to be more clammy like tonight. Woo, going to get down over here. All right. So, Let's... without further ado, do, 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 Are you da, guys da, da, da. ready? Gentlemen. All right. Time to start the engines, folks. The clams.
All right. Since you made Lobster Domus, we have to switch up our set list. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Uh, all right. Oh, hold on. Mind if I do? Hello. Paul has made another one for you, by the way. Yeah. Well, we just got, had to keep on going. And as a matter of fact, as long as we're here with the hold music, let's get some hold music. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, He's yep. gonna he's gonna play some music while you um, take a little break, take and he break. makes a drink. Well, actually, he made a drink, but ah, check it out! Some more clams for you while Paul talks about what he made. We need someone here to play the music. What clam could it possibly be? <laughs> Ceviche. Uh -huh. Recognize anyone on the cover? Anybody? <laughs> and Just asking. Us. Yes. And the uh, CDBS. It's not really a record, but yes, it's yeah. so fabulous. I love it. I know that we're going to be fooling people all evening. It was like, what well, you got that or no, Pete? <laughs> as uh, as uh, Dano actually had said at one point, and we'll commence the interview. Uh, if he gets enough pre-orders, dot dot dot, and that is uh, that is the way it goes, folks. So, what have I made for you now? What have I made? I forget the title. You made. I made ceviche. No, I made. No. I, I made cool walk. You made cool walk. Sorry. You're making ceviche. I'm making ceviche. You're making ceviche. <laughs> anyway, well, ceviche, ceviche the cocktail. Well, ceviche happens. I have happened to make cool walk. I started with dig this one and a half ounces of Ming River Baijiu. Actually, Sichuan Baijiu. It says she's not a fan, but actually, this is a better brand of Baijiu, which is not very well known in the states. We happen to get a promo bottle. I used it. It does have a unique flavor. Uh, it's not as polarizing, as, try for it. instance, as Mezcal, I think, but I think uh, it actually works No, well. I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to try it? No. Can't do it. Uh, a full ounce of Italicus, Rosolio de Bergamo. Oh, dime. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Take that sort of stuff. Oh, up. Vindicator. That would be great, right? I would love that. Let me just finish this, and we, then Sorry. we'll just proceed. So, a full ounce of the Italicus. We've actually been using this for some time now, and I just saw the latest issue uh, and Vibe Magazine was all about the Italicus because we're coming into summer. It is sort of a lighter citrus liqueur with a very heavy hit of bourbon. Fun. And apparently it's a, it's a really ancient style Rosolio, which is a, a type of Amaro that's very focused on a citrus flavor. A half ounce of the lemon juice. I built that in a tall, cool glass. There you go. It happens to be our, our fun chimneys, which, which have the bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. And uh, topped with seltzer. It looks good. It's really refreshing. If now, you like Baijiu. If you're saying to yourself, I don't really like that uh, that flavor that's in there, then just sub light rum. This thing would be perfect. Boom. Sub gin. Hi, Joe. Sub gin and perfect. Hey, the clams indeed. Yes. Don't you know? And we have them playing live for us this evening, too. They've already played us a couple of songs. A couple of fine tracks. We heard Lobster Domus. And I couldn't identify the second song at 10 paces because I don't have the record in front of me. <laughs> well, we'll actually, you have the record behind you. That's the record behind me. So. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Bobby says, apparently I can't use bitters because I'm a sourpuss, so I was told. <laughs> you can only use sour. You can use sours. I love it. Well, sour, bitter, you know, these are contemporary flavors. These so, are. for those of you just joining us, I'm having Lobstradomus, which yes. is... Which is all kinds of goodness. One ounce... Hamilton Beach Bum Berries Zombie Rum, one ounce Stiggins Fancy Pineapple Rum, a half ounce Sour Cherry Liqueur, a half ounce Fresh Lemon Juice, five dashes Hella Mexican Chocolate Bitters, and five dashes Orange Bitters. And Paul is having Cool Walk. Cool Walk. One and a half ounces of Ming River Bijou, half ounce, or whichever Bijou you prefer, half ounce Fresh Lemon Juice, a full ounce of Italicus Rosolio de Bragamonto, Build in a chimney and top with your club soda, seltzer, whatever have you. Oh, Eric mm. says they have a great sound. I know they do, right? Very refreshing, I got to say. It's a good summer thing. We're getting to that point, although our temperatures are not going to blow it till it's freezing. I had to take the plants in. Jeez. Oh, my, I sent something to my neighbor, too, because he's got a, a lime tree over there. Hour to him for trying a lime tree in this climate. But they're going to do their damnedest. You know, we try all sorts of fun things. Sometimes they work just great. Hot peppers do great out there. And it will certainly get hot enough, and we will get enough precipitation, etc. And we keep things watered. So, so hey, fun. Going back to the comments. Mm -hmm. Got some clams fans here. Clam fans. 
Boom, we got boom. two right here. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. Oh, you know, I'm not going to pull it down from there. What about the CD? Oh, it's right yeah, here. It's right here. Anyway. We are currently on. listening to Ceviche itself. <laughs> Yay. So we, I, I suspect that'll be our next round, as a matter of fact. It's a good thing. Uh, Ceviche, of course, has, was uh, some years in the making, has been released for you all. Has a fabulous name on the cover. I say that myself, but it was a good choice. And has excellent production. You're listening to it right now. Oh, and you're all just bought two CDs and an LP. I love it. Mm. Excellent, Eric says, excellent. So I guess when it comes to surf bands, I like the clams and the surfer chats. Well, yes. there you go. And there you go. Two good ones. If you're interested in some fun video featuring Dano and the Surfer Jets, not together, two different videos, go to the Captain Quad channel on YouTube and you'll find stuff that I shoot myself. Mm -hmm. uh, Dano in the band that saved Ohana playing a surf classic. And I forget what song it was. Gee, it was a pipeline. And uh, the Surfer Jets uh, do it at the, what at the time was Asbury Park Surf Music Fest. Now it is the Weekender. And that was in 2018, I believe. Oh, Chuli, that's wonderful. Thank you. Playing a little, I had too much to dream last night. So you'll enjoy both of those. Check it out. But definitely, oh, do look at it. Got an order. There we go. All right. Orders, so I think, after, I think after this song, we'll go back to the clams. That sounds fine with me. I'm enjoying this little thing. You're enjoying that little thing. I did, am. Did you already eat your bonus bet? I did. <laughs> well, I guess I guess they go Just fast. Just kind of quick. It was small. <laughs> oh, I don't think I should make another one, but I I will I will make. I will. I will make ceviche after the I'll next. After this. Oh, or maybe the ventures. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. We just uh, saw earlier this year the ventures documentary, which was well done. And I want to see it again because there were some truck issues with the uh, sound system when we oh, were yeah. watching it. And frankly, I think the, the color was a little shot too. But they had all sorts of people being interviewed of, of talking about the ventures and some great archival footage of them. And they managed to capture the all the guys, you know, before a couple of them had to leave us because all well, that happens too. It happens over time. But the ventures have been playing since 1959, I think. So, you know, time marches on. Boom. Okay. Hi, Hugo. Good to see you. Should be on this side of I love that we can just enjoy the music. Because we've got the rights. I know. Uh -huh. No, we didn't purchase the rights, but we are we do in fact have the rights from the composer. Of the tunes. I hope you can hear this. Can you guys hear the music that we're playing? It's a little low. I can certainly raise it. I just didn't want to blast anybody. So we'll take comments on that. Oh, Eric, I love it. Okay. We'll pass the idea it's along. Well, hello. I think uh, Dano has uh, uh, knows his way around a little prog rock. Also a little like, you know, 70s power rock and things like that. Didn't we see to see a band last year or a year and a half ago? Uh, doing a little uh, Edgar Winter live at the lake. That was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wipeout. Jeez, I remember. They do groovy Wipeout. Yes. As yes. A matter of fact. A different kind of Wipeout. Oh, barely can hear it. Oh, okay. We, we'll turn it up for the next round. We will indeed. It's subtle. But we're going to go back to the clams. We're not trying to avoid copyright strikes. We're never going to get them. So, <laughs> wow. Just turn it up. All right. Let's go oh. back to the clams. Okay. Oh, Thank you. 
<laughs> so we're going to do ceviche again for you. Yay! Hopefully you can hear that better. 
Paul just started some more music playing. So let's let's take a moment to talk to the clam, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> All right, okay. So we actually, we're speaking to Daniel Clam, Deep Sea Clam, and Chad Meister Clams. Uh, come with you tonight. I'm actually going to turn the music down a little bit. Oh yeah. So thanks for having us, and thanks for the introduction. It is a a thrill and a technological miracle to be here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun part of the fun part. Yeah, yes. it, it takes a little doing here. We're, we're broadcasting through StreamYard, which allows us to do a link up like this. And uh, Deno in the, uh, how does he put the, oh, the, uh, the underground layer, 12 miles below the Earth's surface in, in Connecticut. Oh, but, the undisclosed location. By, by the way, I've got a question for Dan. Yeah. Uh, Lisa is wanting to know how she can get a clam sticker. Oh. Um, I haven't made clam stickers for in years, but uh, if you... Uh, Send me a note, and uh, particularly if you come to a show order or CD, I'll see if I can find one and throw it in there. Okay. Uh, if not, um, I think it's about time I made some more stickers. It's about time I think so more too. stickers. <laughs> in quite a while. We're Everyone kind of, loves a sticker. We're kind of thinking that sort of thing, but definitely. So yeah, uh, with the uh, inside the studios, we are going through the the fine uh, mixing apparatus, and then directly into the feed, which leads them to us, to you, and uh, like lots of places. And it's a good thing we're not listening on like phone lines or there'll be some wicked echo i gotta tell you uh but mm -hmm. it's actually like the, the sound balance is really great on this end i'm surprised that this is as clear as things can be i've certainly been on we've all been our on our share of these uh calls uh online for some years now which have terrible audio so this is kind of great and color looks really good from your <laughs> end looks really good from our end so it's kind yes, of awesome. lisa yeah but definitely so um we were prepared to to drive to Middletown, New York, and I was talking to my brother over the weekend. And he goes, "Why would you do that?" I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> why not?" <laughs> well, see, now that we know we can do this, we might need to do it more often. We got the Just uh, saying the, uh, the 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 remote the the rolling clam clamones uh, truck there to provide the uh, the audio uh, hookup and uh, got that going on for sure. And uh, yeah, everything sounds fab. So uh, what were the last two songs we heard in the set? All right. So we heard uh, Bossa Para Pali, which is on our um, on our LP, uh, The Clam Before the Storm. And then uh, we heard Ceviche, the title track uh, of the of the newest CD that there's there's only one or two giant album covers for. But it's really it's, the CD is, is all that's really available. Yeah. I was I was noting before every time we show the twelve inch cover, people are like, "Oh, an LP! Where can I order?" And I say, like, "Well, it's actually a CD right Hill now." Bill says Zoom <laughs> sucks for band practice. I can imagine. I can imagine <laughs> such things. If I could and, get uh, so, sixty people lined up ready to buy an LP, I'm ordering them. But <laughs> this is the thing: if we can get, I, I'm in. You need critical mass. I would do it. So if uh, if we have sixty people here already, do it right here, right now. Place your orders, and we we go, folks. But you do actually have to get that together for orders. We have made a record ourselves. And boy, I think Dan O can back me up on this. Every single thing you do for a record is like, there'll be another charge. And then there's another charge. There'll be another thousand dollars. And would you like color that'll with that? There'll be another thousand dollars. And would you like the, the, the plastic or the paper sleeves? That'll be another charge. Yeah. And you know, it is what it is. But it's what it takes every step of the way. So Yeah, we, we did our album in 2017 and it was expensive. And today it's much more expensive more expensive oh boy exactly exactly i think i think since you made the album uh i think like the oh Don says count me in the last u.s Bill says count him in all oh, right we we've, we've got people that's three orders right people here. here um since the <laughs> since you made the album i think two the the last u.s plating plant burned down so now we have like one or two in the world or something. So it's, so it's impossible to get. Oh, that, that was for the uh, for the lacquer discs. So that's a yes. that's a critical piece of of cutting the the original mm -hmm. lacquers. Yeah. And, uh, there was two on Earth, uh, one in California and one in uh, Japan, and the California one burned down. Yep. So uh -huh. there's a one plant on Earth that makes the lacquer discs that we make records out of. Yeah. Oh wow. I, I'm I'm hearing a business opportunity uh, for I anybody know, right? out there who's like, I love records. <laughs> We've got well. empty storefronts here. <laughs> I, I got plenty of space here where somebody could have a plant. Anyway, so if anybody would like to invest in such things, let's talk offline and maybe I can put people together with people in the way they go. Because everyone's making records these days. It's crazy. Every single thing is like, oh, we made a 12 inch record. It's two albums. <laughs> blah blah blah. They're fun. <laughs> anyone have a scully? Yeah, exactly. I need a lathe. You know. 
to go for a gold chisel. So the latest album was recorded. Uh, it, was that recorded <laughs> in uh, Climbing Studios? Yes. So uh, all, all of our records are recorded right here where you're looking at us. Um, so besides playing guitar, another hobby of mine is uh, audio stuff and recording. And uh, and um, yeah, it was uh, funsy stuff. And then when I did the 2017 album, that was uh, that's where I spent a little more dough on microphones and interfaces and got a little bit more serious. And uh, yeah, it's you know, it's really for me, it's been just as fun as, as the uh, as the playing the music part is, is the uh, production end of it. And um, I love it. yeah, I, I, I'm good at having fun. So <laughs> this is this is what it's all about. We've played these in our system any of a number of times. I would say I would rate those on par with any other album that we oh, have yeah. that is, is professionally recorded. It, it doesn't sound. Oh, this was a home studio. No, I can't. I no. can't tell. It just sounds like just right up there. Totally on top. The uh, the album just sounds great. The LP sounds fantastic. The CD sounds fantastic. Thank you. People will talk about like you know, this one sounds warmer. I don't even know what that means, but it's kind of, it does have a very nice depth depth of sound. We love that full body sound. What does that mean? What actually that? warmth? Don't even ask. I, I can't even, answer I that know. question. We'll talk to the audio nuts one of these days. We'll figure that part out. So we, I think that uh, some links were dropped earlier about where to find the albums because we yes. have we had a few sales while you've been playing. If you check the comments, so that's awesome. And uh, I think that is a link to like the entire available output, which does include the LP and the CDs. Yes. So that's great stuff. Already had a, a request for stickers. There we go. Maybe some other ephemera in there that could be done. Right. And, and, and stickers will happen. And uh, th thank you, everyone, for the orders. I, I got some packages to stuff after the show here. Yay. <laughs> awesome. And uh, I'm trying to think of like what else is is kicking around about things. So, hmm. Eric says my idea of warmth is slight wobbly lo-fi audio. You know, I think that's a lot of people's idea of warmth. <laughs> Analog audio equals like doesn't sound so good. <laughs> it's like, I, I really don't know. Like when you say warmth, I'm like, yeah, I think I have a real aesthetic problem with that concept. <laughs> no. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just supposed to sound like you know, like present and like in front of you and really good. <laughs> The temperature in the room is a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole range of terms. I used to work in the uh, high-end audio field and and like all these terms like warmth and blackness and image and stuff that people used to use describing hi-fi. And we uh, we, would, we would call it audio porn, you know, be behind people's backs. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. a lot of very subjective descriptions. So. It's 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 an awful lot to me, like describing wine or liquors and things like that. Exactly. And and I, I say, like, well, um, do the blind test and see if you can really tell. And uh, many people don't want to take me up on that, which really says something. Uh -huh. But uh, I would say I also have fun with, like, if you get, like, some some very old issues, like 1960s issues of Playboy magazine. I'll, I'll take a look through these and people say, what are you looking at, porn? I'm like, yeah. And I'll whip out, like, a liquor ad, cigarette ad, or particularly <laughs> hi-fi ads. Hey, you know, Robert's tape decks. Mm. And it is very much that sort of thing. It's a lot of fun. Audio porn. Audio porn. <laughs> I love it. But back when this stuff was actually quite expensive. <laughs> so, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, we've, we've got our system that we're playing through right now. I believe total cost on this might well be the cost of the speakers. Which, which was $5. $5 for the pair. It's a really <laughs> great pair. And uh, I think the, the, the actual player was, uh, was a gift from a friend. Uh, the wire was free. Amplifier was free. So, so far, we're, we're, we're at five bucks. Sounds pretty great for five bucks. You don't have to go crazy, folks. Although, if you want to get some ancient thing with vacuum tubes, now that's going to give you some audio warmth, particularly in the winter. <laughs> I was just saying. Not audio warmth, some kind of warmth. Some kind of warmth. <laughs> so, so that's the fun part of the fun part. All right. Well, if you'd like to... Are, are a, you ready to play If you're ready for a few or... more songs, I will dip the sure. music. Sounds good. All, All right. right. Yeah, you, di you dip and, I'll, and dip I'll play. And we'll dip the music.
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. So, that, that last one was Groovy Iguana. and then uh, I love it. Well, we happen to have a drink called Groovy Iguana. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to make this evening. As a matter of fact, I'm about done with this guy here. Would, so. would you like to? Yeah, okay. So Bill was saying, like, I wonder if there's a, a whole MCM party going on at Dano's house if we just pulled back the camera, like Hugh Hefner or something. I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> maybe, speaking maybe. of Playboy, I'll uh, Playboy after dark, which is hilarious. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, don't I have a pipe? I can just come on and say, you're like, wow, Dano, that was just fabulous. Now, uh, we'd, we'd like our go-go dancers to come on stage and play your next number, you know? Uh, we, we didn't have any takers, but I did throw out a last-minute invite for a couple of uh, surprise go-go dancers. But, uh, oh. Perhaps Excellent. another time. So. Another time. <laughs> well, well, you know. You can, you can come on anytime you like. <laughs> broadcast number two, I think we can arrange such things. This could, this could get wild. I think so. Uh, if we could do a broadcast. We, we could bust out some moves. Do, do a broadcast from the stage in, in the paradise at the <gasps> Ohana oh my God. Uh, at the, the Tiki with all the flashing lights. We'll be there and on I Wednesday. Think, I'm just saying. I think you have literally achieved Playboy After Dark 2023. <laughs> that, I can't. 
I, I can't say nothing else. <laughs> I, I think we're thinking of the same video. I remember seeing a YouTube video of uh, it, was, it was like the play, you know, Playboy TV show, and Cal Chater was playing at the Playboy Mansion. Oh yeah, and great looking people were dancing, and yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a life goal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the pipe and the ascot. <laughs> Has hashtag oh, well. Playboy goals. That's just craziness. That's just I can't even begin. There were there were actually two Playboy TV shows. It was one from about 1960, and I remember seeing an episode that you can find up on YouTube, and it had like, uh, gee, Jack Kerouac, I think was was hanging out, and uh, Cy Coleman was on the piano, <laughs> and be like, hey, I just gonna play a few songs. You're gonna think very 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 low key and cool. But then late 60s, they had Playboy After Dark, and they, everybody was on there. Everybody was everybody. It's just like you know, here we got this great band from England, Deep Purple, that kind of stuff. You know, here's the, the Grateful Dead. You know, hey, Jerry, what was the name of that last song? Oh, well, half that was the Golden Road to Unlimited Devotion. Oh, you know, <laughs> love it. Anyway, anyway, great stuff. Well, uh, why don't I just hop on and make something because... You're going to make the groovy iguana? We just heard the groovy iguana. I think you should. I think it's time to actually make the groovy iguana and then consume the groovy iguana. That All right. sounds cannibalistic. Anyway. All right. I will not a problem. solo us. Let's solo and get to and go, go. Now, what am I doing again? I said this minutes ago. But what it takes is, oh, yes, starts with two ounces of tequila. And this is a shake. And oh, this is like completely perfect music for this, too. I know, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So two ounces of the tequila. Yep. I don't think I said reposado. We we typically use reposado because Wait, hey. Cal played at your high school reunion. What? What? Oh okay. my god! I think we have some envy going on over here, starting with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> Tina Turner and Rex Reed on. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I saw that one with I can Tina, and that's just yeah, Paul. You need the smoking jacket, the and level the of craziness, and pipe. Hmm. I could almost do that tonight. I need a pipe. I can I can procure I cigars, but not I can't pipes. Help you. Oh. Ah, okay. okay. All right. So half ounce of Ancho Reyes Verde liquor. If this is not in your arsenal, but you happen to like a little spice and a little bit of heat, not a lot of heat, but a lot of flavor out of this, should be. There is the Verde and the Rojo. They're both really, really good. And they're pretty mm -hmm. available, actually. This is imported by Campari America. Mm -hmm. So they've definitely got distribution. Produced uh, in Mexico by Licorera Ancho Reyes. Y compañía. Keep that handy. I'm going to so, need that too. There you go. I'm going to need a half ounce of that. I'm going to measure that out because it's a little easier on the eyeballs. Did you bring in the passion one. fruit syrup? I did not. I'll get it. So if you got that going on, I appreciate I can it. Do that. I can I can vamp by using other ingredients that we have on this list right here for you. Boom. So again, that's a half ounce. We're using El Himidor, which remains like your best bet in terms of a really nice reposado without the price going kind of crazy. I mean, there's some really nice tequilas that are, are reasonable, which we used to be able to get for a good price, and now it's just like not such a great price, and uh, there are some reposados that are pretty stratospheric. Hey, they're all good. We but, learned about it, um, the El Jimador, when we took a cooking class in Mexico. I should know about it before then. But they were, no, I didn't know about it before then. They were underlining that. I didn't know about you it know before then. Nope. I did. Nope. Yeah. Okay. And oh boy. Oh Joe. Oh gee. Half ounce of passion fruit syrup. Passion fruit syrup is now available from many places. Very yes. reputable stuff. We make our own. It's really easy to make. But we've making so long that we just kind of keep doing it. So that's half ounce of passion, half ounce of fresh lemon juice, half ounce of entrees, verde, two ounces of reposado tequila. I'm going to shake with ice and strain into a cocktail glass. So if you wanted to make your own passion fruit syrup, all you do, all you do is, is combine one part thawed passion fruit pulp from the freezer section of your supermarket and one part simple syrup. That's it. Simple syrup, of course. Sugar and water, one to one. Yes. You can make a lot of it. And if you do all these syrups and things, you're going to want to. Or you can make a little of it. You just adjust. That's I'm all. I'm going to make another one after this, too. You don't say. Take a ice. Trying to shake in rhythm. Pillar of 
five to six different ways to say hangover in different Spanish speaking <laughs> countries. Oh, I got to hear that. Hangovers. <laughs> I got to hear that. Oh, Beverly Kinney. I, I remember Beverly Kinney. You remember Beverly Kenny, or you know of Beverly Kenny? I, I do not remember her. Person. I was going to say no, but I remember her when I worked in a store. Like those, those oh yeah, albums were. Prominent. Now this one I'll try. We'll give that a whirl. In fact, why don't you try that because I've got a heavy pour there. Okay. Oh yeah, Clemo va? Groovy iguana. Oh, you know this saying? is good. I was afraid to even try the other one he made, but this one is good. You're not a fan of the base liquor on that one, but this, this item is pretty superlative. Got to say, very nice. I'm going to save a little bit of this because slightly heavy pour. Now, if you're actually trying this and you say, I like it, it could have a heavier spice kick. You could throw in some hot bitters. You could throw in a tiny little bit of hot powder or something like we frequently do. That'll kick it up. Or you might say it is just spot on oh, as it is. I we mean, just got a Very, troll. very small amount of burn. We lot just got a lot of flavor. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Going already? I blocked him. <laughs> Going already? Oh, well. It's just, it was so stupid. It was like junior high. No anyway. Problem. Hey, we got him. We get them. Uh, we, we get them. Even when it's a, and then we uh, toss them. Even when it's a specialty show featuring, like, you know, an excellent band who happens to have, like, some new product for you. And just uh, all they do is just produce great music. Then you get some troll going blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, yank bite. Anyway, so... <laughs> And upset about that. In the meantime, we're still we talking about the music and listening to the music of the clams. This is from the latest album, Ceviche, featuring a, a certain you know model on the cover. Ceviche is available currently. If you check the links up there, you can you can buy the whole catalog if you want. I recommend it if you have none. I highly recommend it. And if you do have some, I recommend filling the holes in the in the uh, whole collection. The holes because, in your collection. The holes in your collection. <laughs> The hole's in the middle of the CD, and that allows the whole thing to spin properly. The whole thing? The whole thing. Anyway, enough enough. <laughs> terrible, terrible, stupid puns from me. If I we're going to have puns this day, but we need to get the troll back. Yeah, seriously. Bum, 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 diggity. Well, we, I just made the cool iguana. Is that right? The groovy iguana. The groovy iguana. I keep the, I'm confusing cool with the walk. other one. Cool groovy walk. Iguana. Made the cool walk. This groovy iguana. Well, maybe I'll just make mine now, too. Maybe you will. It's All right. That time. So, so I need a shaker. Well, you happen to have a shaker right here. I have a shaker right there. I'm going to make ceviche, not the dish, the cocktail. Not with fish juice, although we have actually made a we cocktail could do that. with clam juice that we served to the clams. And as a matter of fact, uh, the drummer said, Hey, I really like this. So, therefore, we were clearly onto something. If I am it, starting with two ounces of Reposado tequila. Good place to start, eh? And then I am moving on to a half ounce of Aperol. Let me get this out of here. Get this out of here. Half ounce Aperol, mm -hmm. which I'm happy to have again, by the way. Aperol's a great thing when summer starts. Yeah. The way that Campari is a great thing to have when winter starts. Exactly. Although some people will have a, 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 a Negroni any time of the year. I would. But, you know. A half ounce fresh lemon juice. Ugh. Just saying. Just saying. Actually, you can go back to the feed. If, if you're good, like. yes. I got those. Still enjoying the groovy iguana, which I had a, a bonus bet. It's always great when you can just topper that thing up. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, boy. Okay. Missing some comments here. Let's back right. up for just a second and see where we are. And a teaspoon Kahlua. I know it sounds weird, but I think it's going to be good. And I don't want the Kahlua to drown everything else out here. So, Did you see the comment from Bill? Like, you know, buddies with uh, Cal Jader, Glenn Yarbrough, and Vince oh, Raldi. Oh, oh my wow. Gosh. You know, Glenn Yarbrough was one of those people. He had, like, an extensive career. He was part of the... What's it there? The Wafers of the Highwaymen. It was, it was a folk trio. And then he goes solo and, and just had... He sold a ton of records. And I don't think he's very well considered these days, but he was pretty huge back in the day. Okay. And five dashes lime bitters. We have a vote for Vince Goroldi's Cast Your Fate to the Wind, which was a big hit for him, and then a bigger hit for somebody else. So he collected some royalties on that. 
from the album, uh, the Black Orpheus album. That whole album is awesome. So if you do not have access to that, get access. Can I? Thank you. I need some ice. No, that's not what I meant. Oh. <laughs> Shake with ice. Shake with ice. Boom, 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 boom. Wine lighters. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. I'm thinking, I know like all of these bands, the, the there was the Wafers, there was a the Highwayman. Lionel not him. Sandpipers. All these kind of guys. <laughs> New Christies, you know, blah, 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 Christy blah. Minstrels. Right. Pinks and Trio. <laughs> And then I'm going to pour all of this into a rocks glass. All right, it's getting too much ice. I'm gonna strain the rest of I'm it. Gonna strain the rest of it glass. because <laughs> always an issue. You have, to, you have to actually moderate the amount of ice exactly. going on. Exactly. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I'm not done. I'm not done. But wait, there's more. Thank you. Thank you. I am going go. to add a twist of lemon. Excellent way to go with this one. And a shrimp chip. A shrimp chip. On a skewer. Ceviche. Um, I want a straw. That is, in fact, an oishi prawn cracker. I just found these tonight. And these are the ones that I thought would fit on a skewer and i tried a few of these and they i will say much they're pretty shrimpy and they're pretty salty <laughs> they're good mm. right. i was taking a look and say who makes these anyway it comes from the philippines where are the small straws small straws yeah you mean like the the metal straws yeah they're right there i didn't see them all right i'll just use this one no we're gonna use a small straw all right anyway pretty good though Got to say. All right. Oh my God, this is so good. Try this. Patronize your local market that has South Asian products and fun things app. All right, I'm gonna go back to mm -hmm. the clams. You guys up for another one? We are. We are. All <laughs> so, right. Good. Oh, well, so we, gonna... we got one more pair of songs uh, before it's our it's our bedtime. Okay. Ah. I, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. Right. Fair enough. Then All right. I will actually dip the music. Yep. To it. Here we go.
<laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> right. One, one more. Not our composition, but public domain. It's like 400 years old. As a former percussionist for the band, I actually said to have a tequila, have two tequila, have three tequila. They're pretty small. Oh, jeez. <laughs> anyway. Oh, encore, encore. Enough, enough. <laughs> you're getting your oh. request. Oh, we're getting a request already. <laughs> oh, boy. So that was, of course, the the classic Havanagila slash, pi, uh, slash Pipeline. No, slash. Oh, no, that was Miserloo and Havanagila. Miserloo and Havanagila. Yes. There we go. Two, two, two oh, ancient, ancient songs. <laughs> yes. Which is fantastic. And then before that was um, Burlap Mitten, which was actually another uh, like mini short film soundtrack we did years ago. Oh, wow. Excellent. A, a film by the same name. <laughs> by film oh, by the man. Same name. <laughs> That's fantastic. Awesome. You provide soundtracks for so many short films. Every, every chance I get. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we might have another one for you. I hear a trend going on. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll certainly talk. So we do still have, uh, is is the link to the music at the top of this whole thing? It or? is, but I'm going to drop it again. We'll drop it again. So here we go, folks. You I can... also dropped the link where you can um, 
get in touch to you hire to book the clams. the clams who are bookable. We're just yes. saying, don't book. have a luau without us. You can't possibly. I mean, you could. It wouldn't be as good. I wouldn't dream of having a luau without the clams. We've had a luau with the clams. It was pretty awesome. It I was know. better. So there is the the link for the yeah. stuff. I'm going to drop the, the which link. is actually labeled buy stuff. Link to book the clams too. There are still Wait, so shoot. so tell me like the full catalog of CDs is available and we you still have LPs for sale. Yes. Yeah, so so in print we we have two CDs. Uh, our 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 most recent CD is ceviche and that is a. Uh, clams with a latin flavor it's a bunch of uh latin jazz uh influenced uh, instrumental surf music the uh, cd before that is the clams will see you now and that was um that was a, a covid during covid production and it's um i tried to do a cd of dentist office music inspired uh surf music <laughs> i love it <laughs> i think it's awesome i am a i've become a much larger fan of more easy listening type sounds uh that are very similar to what my mother used to listen to on the radio and if that, oh, we have a question. Oh yes, so we have a question. Eric says, "Are you going to reprint any out of print stuff?" Um, if there was, if there was a bunch of orders, sure. But um, okay. yeah, you know, um, we have <clears throat> the the thing that we sold a lot of that uh, that is out of print is uh, acting shelfishly, which is oh yeah, title names. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, if um. If somebody had to have it and they got in touch with us, you know, I can certainly send send them MP3 files. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, and then then our stuff before that, well, it's you know, I'll call it historic, but um, not not stuff I listen to that frequently. So <laughs> <laughs> that that happens too, and uh, and then there's always that uh, you know YouTube video going back to 1999. You're like, oh boy, the video doesn't look so good. There, um, but, there is a bunch of videos, and in, in fact. Uh, Yes, uh, we should, should drop a link to the. Uh, so Kelly and Paul hel helped us out with a video with our um, "The Clams Will See You Now" album, and um, oh, I, yeah. I had a lot of fun with that that video. So uh, another th another thing to look up. I did too. All Truth right, do. Yeah, yeah, I'll go find that. I'll, you know go what? find that. We'll drop it on. I'm gonna you. drop it. We both had a lot of fun. I'm gonna editing try that, to. I'm gonna try video. to drop it without um, <laughs> disrupting the whole it. thing. Yes, that could always be a challenge. Oh, no you know what I'm going to do? Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Keep talking. Talk, we'll just, amongst, talk amongst yourselves. We'll just vamp along. along <laughs> talk things. amongst yourselves. Yeah, I'll just say, had, had a lot of fun editing that video uh, on this end, because while we're, we've been editing for a very long time with such things, we've done many um, many scripted videos, and of course, we made a short film itself, which was uh, the major bit of background music in there, provided by Dano and company. So that was uh, that was great. We just actually premiered that live at the um, Coney I Island Coney Island Coney Island Film Festival, and uh, that was a lot of fun. That was just fantastic. It's it's a really compact film festival, and there were just a, a, <laughs> the crowds were totally sold out. I mean, they're small venues, but they, they were and. People were really psyched. I mean, we got some good comments on that. Oh, so. Dime is asking or uh, make it available for digital purchase. Um. So, so which which one? Um. Let's see. Uh, the ones that are out of print, if, mm. like yeah. if they could be available for, di like not necessarily. Right. So if if somebody has to have acting selfishly. So okay. Let's just reach out you to me here. and we'll talk and and. We can figure something out. So, yeah. <laughs> if you're, and by the way, this is for the people who might be watching this in five uh -huh. days. If you're watching the rebroadcast and you're like, oh, I, I can't drop a comment, just get in touch with us. We'll get in touch exactly. with Daniel. And, exactly. uh, and away it goes. Nothing is particularly hard these days, but we, we can be go between, between so, that. We feature, we're featuring <laughs> the clans because they're our buddies and they're awesome. But, so. Bill Moffat would like to know is it true the next clam album will be Instro Stripper Music? Maybe if Bill writes some songs for it. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy that one, too. Well, you know, if uh, to, to ask the question is to answer it, uh, Bill. Just saying. <laughs> I say that a lot. Oh, you're here. getting so much appreciation here. Uh, I just love it. Uh, Bill, Bill's an old friend of mine, but uh, Bill was on the first track on the Ceviche album. Playing yes. Right. yes. Yes. As a matter of fact. <laughs> as a matter of fact. I saw the name pop up. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> we know you. Just fantastic. By the way, to mention it again, when you look behind us, you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, they've got the LP of Ceviche. It's like, well, we've got a cover of the LP of Ceviche. And uh, as uh, Dan points out, like, 
it is while it is entirely possible to press an album of such things at current it's available in the compact five inch album form and if anybody's like i need to have my needle hit that wax if you get 60 orders He'll make it happen. So, folks, this is like a telethon. I'll be here until <laughs> next Tuesday. I'll put my like my my seventies white polyester. will be here until there are sixty orders for this. My seventies white polyester tux on. I'll start loosening my tie at about five in the morning. Please, won't you give? <laughs> I'm really hallucinating right now. Save the clams, please. You know, but all we need is sixty orders, and this thing could totally happen. Yeah, and, as, we, as we like to say in engineering. Nothing's impossible. Some things are expensive. Some things are very, yes. very expensive. <laughs> Amen as, to that. As anybody who is talking about like very faster than light speed travel kind of <laughs> stuff would say, yeah, you can do it, but it, it costs you a lot more the faster you go. Absolutely. <laughs> That's just the question. Stripper music makes me think of, you know, David Rose, but oh, it yeah. also makes me think of like such things as that classic collection what was that? Uh, Jungle Exotica, which I think inspired oh, yeah. so many things. And uh, there's, there's a little bit of that sound happening right here right now, which is kind of awesome. There's uh, there's so many things to do. And of course, the, the claims frequently feature not strippers, but dancers. Go-go style dancers. Classic 1960 style go-go dancers. And they rock it with everything. Monkey, pony, frug. You got it. <laughs> They're playing the sounds. They dance to it. It's just well, uh, awesome. While I'm thinking of it, I have to ask you, while you were at the Coney Island Film Festival, did you see a film called Misophonia, which is like a a, a paper animation sort of film? Well, I, I did not see it. I saw the name on the schedule. Yeah. Uh, the actual setup, to full disclosure, is that as creators, we had passes to be able to get into any of these things. But since they were sold out venues, we were kind of on standby. And everything we got we, into our screening and the the opening screening. The opening, uh, and the yeah, rest probably. were like, there's so many people who bought tickets. That, we were like, yeah. we were just shut out. So we're like, okay, whatever, just here enjoy Coney. Yeah. So you know what? That just means that I get. So in we touch rode with the, the cyclone. Filmmakers. <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah, uh, which is which is truly terrifying. The, and the I think lady that, that made that film, uh, the lady that made that film, used to go go dance for us, and she was oh spectacular, polysonic. Polysonic. Okay, awesome. yeah, I saw the name on there. Well, you yeah. know, folks, it is a small er world. The more we go, and that's the way. I oh like yes, it. Amy is name checking the Las Vegas Grind compilation album. Oh yes, I would love that. I love that yeah. kind of stuff. I remember those. Those are pretty awesome too. If Dano is not familiar with that title, he will look it up and find. Oh, minutes. Errol says, uh, yeah. like, <laughs> we say in engineering, good, fast, cheap. You get to pick two. <laughs> <laughs> I think Joe is still watching, or he was watching anyway. That just sounds like all these games where it's like you've got three things you could do, but you can only do two of them. You know, make your choice. And if you could do all three, it'd be great. But if you can only do two, there's there's all these great triangles out there. But <laughs> it's like what location, price, with real estate, one? that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, that kind of thing. But but with a band, you don't have to choose. You, you, you the re, the three points of your triangle are guitar, bass, drums, and you're like. Oh wait, we get to we get to choose all of that. Oh yeah, you get no problem. Yeah, you're totally good. <laughs> one, of, one, one of our many in in band mottos is "There's no place to hide in a three piece band." Mm, mm. <laughs> a power trio like nobody can cut out. Hilarious. Did you ever think about getting like some really massive Marshall stacks behind you and saying, "We're gonna play some cream," you know, and just like bang I, into it? I, I used to have, um, well, not a full stack, but a half stack Marshall. And, and uh, since since my younger years, my equipment has been getting smaller and lighter and smaller and lighter. <laughs> so. Well, you know. Just like cars. <laughs> legendarily, the loudest group in the era was Blue Cheer, but they had a bunch of roadies. So there you go. That's very important mm -hmm. to know, folks. <laughs> Finnegator is asking, which base? <laughs> Ooh. Get on the mic, my man. Hello. What was the question? Which, which, bass? which bass are you playing, my man? This is a, a Squire um, Jaguar. Excellent. Oh. I, was, yeah. I was noting the control saying it looks like a very jaggy kind of thing going on. Yeah, it's, it's like a cool. combina it's combination of a P bass and a jazz bass. And uh, it's a. Uh, it's not the high end uh, Fender, but it sounds great. <laughs> so, it sounded good on this end. Yeah, so 
I'll keep it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I'm not going to hawk it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do you have any more questions for the client? Does anyone else have any questions for the We'll class? open it up to the audience here. Questions, been, comments. I've been yakking all night just because I just I, we keep things going, and I had a whole bunch uh, of stuff. Short on scale, going. Bill would like to know. Short uh, scale no. on that base, Joe? No. No. No, no, no. Okay. okay. Standard. Regular, okay. yeah. Regular scale. Okay. Long still, actually. Got it. Yeah, I've been actually uh, yakking all night just because I keep things rambling because I don't like dead air and I got a lot to say. But I can. <laughs> I, I got a lot to say. I can uh, clam up for a minute oh, and no. uh, open, my shrimp chip. Uh, open the uh, questions to the audience. Anybody wants to know anything about how things are recorded, where things are recorded, where is this mm. secret studio 12 miles beneath the surface of the earth? Mm. It's a secret. Of course, we can't tell you that. But fun stuff happens, folks. Was this all recorded in the home studio? Yes, I can answer that. I've seen the studio. Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, it all, was. All, all done here. This is uh this is not our, our, our actual album recording setup for tonight, but it's it's close to it. It's similar. Yep. This is the live stream recording setup. Yes. Live stream recording studio, which you know, for the first time that we are doing this via this type of remote broadcast. And is this the first time that you've done this type of setup there as well, Dano? It is. Wow. Okay. Wow. I mean, we just... Uh, <laughs> this worked remarkably well. This actually worked so much better than I thought it might. We did a test yesterday and it's like, well, okay, good. But you don't really know until you actually fire exactly. up the entire band and see what happens. And uh, really, this this works fabulous. It really sounded good and uh, looks great. <laughs> looks really good. Um, cool. So I'm thinking of... <laughs> yeah, what else? What else? Things like that. Uh, no, I'm kind of. So, I'm, I'm where kind of can worried. people see you next? Yes, that's a good question. Ah, so, uh, so we do have some shows coming up. Uh, let's see. On um, we have two shows on June 10th. You can catch us in the morning and the evening. Uh, mm, on, okay. On June 10th, there's a, a car show called Silver City Shakedown in Meriden, Connecticut. Uh, okay. you, can find, you can find all this stuff on Facebook if you search Silver City Shakedown uh, or just go to our website and our information is there. And then uh, this this is this is the one to, to get out to. This is um, at eight o'clock that night uh, in Derby, Connecticut. We are playing. We are opening the summer of Tiki at the Quail and Ale Pub where they make uh, really fantastic high end cocktails and they make ser serious, authentic Tiki drinks. So it's summer of Tiki. On June 10th at the Quail and Ale Pub in Derby, Connecticut. Um, let's see. Then, oh, and uh, August 5th, we're opening for uh, rockabilly awesome guy Eddie Clendenning at Cafe Nine in New Haven. Uh, Great. We don't know. So, yep. So that would be a that would be a recommended show show to get out to. Um, and then let's see. Uh, the the Thursday. Um, Let's see. Uh, look it up on the website. But the uh, um, Labor Day weekend, the, the Thursday leading into Labor Day weekend, we are playing the pool party um, at the uh, Dead Man's Curve Car Club, which is oh, okay. Mass Maybe we'll actually get in this DMC, year. Baby. <laughs> Massive car show. It takes over the whole Sheraton in Mawa, yes. New Jersey. Um, so come into the uh, the glass the glass enclosed uh, pool, and uh, on the Thursday opener night and we'll be there um i love it yes and get your tickets early because i last year we wanted to go and and they were already sold out, sold out. so <laughs> sold out. like many things that is a huge <laughs> oh <laughs> yes elaine says august 31st thank you elaine thank you elaine <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you my lovely assistant fantastic stuff uh dmc oh we got to go got to go vote for uh for dmc that makes me think of DeLorean Motors Corporation, a different kind of Dead Man's Curve. That's yeah, telling you. DMCCC. It's Dead Man's Curve Car Club. So. DMC Car Club. Yeah, definitely. DMC, Not CC. DeLorean. Not DeLorean. Motor. Yeah, anyway. Although, they're, so, so, uh, so big, I'm trying to. Hi, think. Vegas AF. Hey, Vegas. Good to see you. <laughs> it is awesome. So, a, a basic question that has not been asked yet what, what started you down this sordid path of, I'd like to start a surf band? Well, we can thank our mutual friend Mike Rosato for that. So, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've I've actually you know I've been a fan of this this genre of music 
you know, forever. I had a Ventures album when I was a kid, and I always liked that sound. But it didn't even occur to me that, that this was a whole separate genre. And I just kind of happened into a pub one night with some work friends, and Ninth Wave was playing, you know, long, long ago. And I started chatting with Mike because I'd, I'd always played guitar. And he said, well, why don't you learn a couple of these songs and come play with us? And uh, so I did. And then uh, it kind of, you know, I, I had some bands like when I was 20 and then uh, <laughs> and then just kind of put it aside until I was like 40. And then I picked it up again. And then uh, um, another friend of mine played guitar. So I bought a cheap bass and I said, all right, learn these three songs. And we made his kid play drums who didn't like doing it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the poems were born. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll go a little bit farther with the origin of the clam story. Um, so the first car show we played, you know, we were playing out in this parking lot at this big car show. And like right towards the end of our set, some uh, some ladies came up and they start bopping around. And it's like, where do you guys play? Well, um, we'll let you know as soon as we find a place. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you guys let us know and we'll come. I'll, I'll get some of my friends. will come out. We'll go go dance for you. And that was it. I was never going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. So that's, uh, that, that's what launched the client, you know, Mike, Mike Rosado started it. And, uh, Darlene Pedra, the, she never did show up in go-go dance, but, uh, I knew it. <laughs> hilarious, but it was the inspiration. But, but I was off and running after that. So, <laughs> So when we see, uh, when we see Mike, will say, so anyway, so you're the one who actually like initiated this whole thing. He'll say, I didn't do it. No, well, what? No, uh, I'm so glad he did. It's Mike's fault. So. You did it. And, um, you did this. Love, and we love Mike and Sadie. Well, oh, and boys. Fred. Yeah. And, and Ed. Hello. Yeah, we, we love Ninth Wave. No, it's, so. it's a lot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Lisa and I found a DeLorean in an antique shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just sitting there in the That's middle of the crazy. shop. That's crazy. That's crazy. It is actually a rather small car. I mean, when I finally saw one in person, I'm like, wow, this thing is kind of tiny. I know, at A&W, right? As it turns out. A&W used to have one out and uh, at, up and, at the lake. And Lake George. Yeah. I don't think it's been... It wasn't, wasn't there, it last wasn't there we last there? year. So, I don't know. Happened to the DeLorean. Oh, things move. It can be an antique from whenever you like because it time travels. <laughs> exactly. Also true. <laughs> exactly. Very compact on the outside, but huge on the inside, much like the TARDIS. Who knows what evil mm. lurks? <laughs> all right well we have to do this again but definitely thank and you so much for joining us this has been thank you so, so much, much for having fun yeah this has been a blast we're so happy to be here uh really appreciate <laughs> being on your show thank you people for the orders and thank you for uh for hanging out with us and we will see you again yes can't wait please yes Excellent. anytime anytime you want thank we're... you Claire. yes thank you <laughs> Ow! ouch <laughs> So that was the clams. Woo! Good grief. We clammed oh all you. Oh my God, so great. Well, anybody out there who needs some fresh shellfish, I hope you're near an ocean because that's what you're going to need. We, in fact, just had some some shellfish on the half shell just within the past week. It was pretty good, but it was oysters. So I was going to say, what? what? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yes, yeah. We did. Yes, we did. But mm. yeah, like, that's really great. You want to start some more travel. clams music playing? I would be glad to. In because the background, because I'm not worried about a copyright strike right now. Uh, essentially, we haven't been the entire time, and we we probably should have exhorted them to play whatever the heck they like. It doesn't matter. We're going to get strikes. Oh my gosh! So much love for the clams. Of their music, because that's just life. I love it. So much love for the clams. Oh my god! Look at this. I'm just and here's the whole happy, lineup because we love them. Too. I would actually. I'll note to Dano that he should take a look at the end of these comments where all the love comes forth. And I it's know. Just fantastic. I know, right? I mean, it, it's it's great that we were able to get the hookup to work. It actually yeah. sounded it sounded quite <laughs> right. nice, really. It did. And actually, look at I've seen a lot of these videos where it's like it just video breaks up horribly. You know, the the uh, Mercury is with us tonight, and connections are good. It actually is working at, at a Mercury's decent. Mercury's not in retrograde. Well, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Boom, 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 boom. Mercury retrograde's over. <laughs> and, until the next oh, five God. minutes, and boom. But it's just great to be able to get that together and to have a home studio where he could actually just hook up the board. That made a really big difference to audio, I think. So it's just fantastic. And like songs from the newest album, songs from the LP, you can buy both by going to that link yes. that's over there. If you don't have any, that's it. That's my final plug for the clams. But hey. Oh, it's not mine. I will be plugging. I'll, plug, I'll just end, keep I'm plugging sure, them. But... If you're watching the radio broadcast, it's like, where can I get this? Scroll up the list, grab the link, go. 
Thank live you. thing was a fantastic idea. Thank you. I yes. just, well, you know, we just, uh, yeah. honestly, a random comment and Dano said, would you like us to play live? I'm like, we can yeah, make, we can we make that happen. Like that. We can make that happen. We have had groups play live just right over there. The last was, I believe, uh, Surfer, Joe Surfer Joe and company yeah. who were in town to play a gig like something like nine miles away. We attended that gig. It's it's a really bizarre story. You see me in person. <laughs> buy me a Mai Tai. But I'll Surfer Joe tie. was amazing. Uh, and, uh, and we'll tell you about but it. But we're talking about the clams. And uh, that was incredible. But, you know, the, the fact is that the clams, had, the clams played in our backyard. Just like you were two years I ago, know. when nobody I... could play anywhere, they they actually traveled here and they played live by broadcast. We brought you some live entertainment when nobody could say anything because we thought we could do that. We could do that, and uh, we're still doing it. Here we are. Oh, it's fantastic. I know. I, I would love to have the clams here again live for a party or something. Or something that would mean we need to throw a party. Well, I guess we could do that kind of thing. <laughs> we'll see about that. But uh, the fact is, uh, we have these ideas. Some of them are not particularly hard to execute. If oh, more clams! I'm, I'm, yes, more clams. more clams. I'm with you. Well, I think it's, it's kind of more like bubbles. Hmm? more bubbles. What's that? Freezer. Oh yeah, yeah. Those, those are ready, so we can go do He's that. He's got to go. I guess I got to go. He's got to go. Well, I can. I, I got to go for two reasons. But the the zero reason, and the zero thing I was about to say was like. Every time that uh, <laughs> that uh, Linda, who is watching as clam chowder, you know what she does? She adds more. Oh, she adds more clams. Amy's so there we go. Party, <laughs> I'm in. Okay, all right. I know. We didn't do it last summer because we were completely broke for making a film, but maybe we can make it work this summer. Got to get on their schedule. Oh, he's got to start some music. He's got some music in your boiler. Auto mistake. <laughs> Yeah, turn it up so we can hear it. You can hear it now. All right. Okay. Got some claims going. I just, we always think about the live broadcast that we were doing from Ohana from our crawl room. And, um, and our DJ was playing Barbie Girl, and YouTube just shut it down. Like, so fast. <laughs> nope. You know what? That yeah, good. you're done. Yeah. So um, we don't want that to happen, but I don't think that'll happen here. It's a, it's a different. Uh, kind this of isn't beat. some dippy pop song. So. That sold millions. <laughs> so we're kind of thinking that's not going to get. We're probably banned. okay. Potentially good. <laughs> Nobody knows. Let us know if you can hear it or if it needs to be cranked up because we can do that. Happy to. Oh, turn it up, Paul. All right. All right, he's turning it up. I'm turning it up. He's got to use the remote now that we have one. Damn you should bring it over here. I can't point it at this. You can't. Oh. What good is it if we can't? Okay. All right. We need it. Oh, we need dear. To here we are opening. You should just send us a nasty note. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, is it better? Can you hear it? I just increased it, but like if it's not quite there, we can we can pop it up. <laughs> I like how the audio guy tells me how many dBs to put it up. Ah! <laughs> I could do that too. Oh, okay, it sounds pretty Everybody good. Everything's okay. Like Dime, it. how's it sound I now? Did. I think I popped it since you actually put that comment in there. Don't shoot your eye out. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, Errol, thank you. I'm going to screenshot your comment because it kind of made my day. <laughs> I love that sound. You make Wednesday feel like a Friday. Ooh. It's nice to feel appreciated by someone. Thank you. Errol. Well, you know, these days people work Aww. various schedules and to somebody out there, Wednesday is in fact Friday. That's true. Oh. And in fact, I will be working from the remote pour? office for the rest of the week, so this is a kind of Friday to me. Although I will be in the office tomorrow. The office is probably right here because this is a great standing desk. Okay. Hold on. No, I'm huddling. We're good. Waiting patiently. 
We got a cool request for Pop Rocks for the Bubbles. <laughs> we have them still because Amy, who I believe is still watching, sent them to us for after our broadcast where we mentioned them casually. I and did we this use them without breaking anything in the bar, I would like to point out. Well, she's a pro. I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. That's going to be fun. Well, if somebody asks you about your blood alcohol content, you can say, that was hours ago. <laughs> no, you know what? I got my blood work done already. And oh, you're done. Yeah, you're fine. I feel like my alcohol was not, not an issue. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I won't be getting blood work tomorrow. You're not going anywhere for about 11 hours, so big deal. Oh, thank you. Vegas, thank yeah. you, Vegas. Thank you. Thank you, Vegas. Much appreciated. I right. We do these things because we have been doing these things. We're dialing it down. And I like to tell people, pardon me, <laughs> ah, repeating on me. I like to tell people <laughs> we keep doing them because people keep showing up. So uh, that means that basically you are what makes this happen because I can't talk to a wall. Well, that's the thing. I but mean, I could. it's like we would, it's a lot. <laughs> we're doing what we would be doing anyway, but the fact that you're here makes it that much more fun. It just makes it more interactive, makes it the party. We can spread a little mm -hmm. love. We can get a band to play live. We can get some music. Nice last pillows. Week, last week we had the Rumbar <laughs> record stuff. I People really reacted well to that. Thank you again, Lou. Thank you tonight to Dano and company because... They took their time <laughs> to be no, there. So we had our yearly blood work a month ago. I know. I have to have it all the time. Well, not all the time, but I just like I'm on medication, which I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So don't worry about me. But they have to keep adjusting it based on your blood levels. So well, uh, aren't we all taking one pill or another? I, exactly. I take a daily pill. What the hell? So, you know, if something happens, you have to take medication. The way you go. I keep walking around, you know, not affecting anything. <laughs> I, I would say that uh, our we've been doing workouts since I've been working remotely, and I mean you've been doing it for ages, but I finally yeah. started joining you, and we got a great piece of advice from one of our instructors who who says if you want to keep walking around when you're in your 80s, do a 60 second plank every day. So I've kind of been doing that, and I'm like, you know what, I'm really feeling good about the planks and it does actually realign the lower back and the lowers pain blah 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 doc appointment next week oh man oh boy power to you my friend I'm here yeah yep but definitely it's all about glad this, i got my blood that. work done last week that's oh, all i'm saying we have a comment about this being therapy oh my gosh eric i'm honored <laughs> we try and if, if people have specific issues that are of a psychological nature We'll refer you to professionals. But if it questions about cocktails and whatnot, we can definitely answer that. And if, <laughs> if, you, just, if you just need to get an idea out, it's a forum. Eric says, I have yet to get my him a certain <laughs> probe because I can't find anyone to take me down and bring me back. Uh -huh. The only thing I could possibly yeah, yeah. say to that is uh, what is, I, I can't remember the term. There's a certain term, Moon River. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yep. Blue Moon. <laughs> oh. You saw me standing alone. You did not. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, you get to a certain age, you have to do these things. And um, yeah. we've both done that. And I got to say, oh, you professionals do it. Boom, done. Yeah. You're totally out for it. You wake up, you're like, oh, hey, where's the orange juice? The, the major problem is that you have to completely cleanse the system there we are a don't lot, need to talk about this we there are a lot really really don't need to talk lot, about this. i'm not going to talk about specifics there are a lot of uh dietary regimens out there they're talking about cleansing the system cleansing the system i'm like well your system cleanses itself oh so hi dan you. dano's back dan. <laughs> dan we got so much love for the music thank you <laughs> seriously like love 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 like we could i don't know we need like a playboy mansion so that we could do this all the time. We could do that sort of thing. I just need to get an ascot and a pipe. Oh, she's... Oh, Lisa, I can't have grapefruit either. I'm with you. I know. <laughs> I know. I can't... I can't yeah. jet pilot. No jet pilot for you. No. Nope. But guess nope. what? I can't have grapefruit. We made one for you recently, and we subbed orange juice. It worked fine. That's the big secret about Don B's That's drinks. The they got so much crap yeah. going on in there that you're like, oh, just sub this thing. It'll be fine. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. Use good base liquor. Keep the balance the same. Oh, you be fine. Big deal. 
know? Our doctor asked Lisa if she drinks. <laughs> I always liked it when they like, do you drink? I'm like, yeah. I would say like socially. You don't know how often I socialize. You don't know. They never ask Paul those questions. By they the do way. too. Oh, I get those. No, questions. they ask, but they but you you tell them like, oh, I have like I don't know twenty drinks a week, and they're like, yeah, whatever. If I said that, they'd be like, here's a brochure for Betty Ford. Yeah. You know? Oh, but, restart yeah, the heart. Yeah. Well, they say how many drinks do you have, and I'll start calculating. I'll be like, uh, this many. And then nobody flinches, so I think, okay, fine. So clearly I'm a test case. You could actually eat well. You can drink a, a, a fairly normal amount. I think it's a normal amount. And, oh, and Richard, we would love it. So Irish whiskey. Yes, please. Slime Chandid, my We're friend. We're all about that. Uh, I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Because we actually have a supply of, of Irish whiskey over there, which is about this big. I know. It grows low. So. I mean, well, you know, it was just a couple months right now since uh, March, and something happens in March where people drink a lot of Irish. Yeah. Well, we did. And it, that's the time. I mean, but, come you on. Know, if, if I had more Irish whiskey, I would probably but, drink more Irish whiskey. I'm just saying. I happen to have some Irish heritage, so I do actually value this stuff. I do drink Irish whiskey. I think it's good stuff. So there we go. And there's there are more brands on the market now than ever. I know, great. Lisa. My my levels came out pretty well too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've already seen them, so she's just gonna tomorrow. She's gonna be like, yeah, whatever. So the uh, I don't know. I'm sure she'll find something to be concerned about because she's a doctor, but. Doctors have to do these things because it's their job. What does slentia mean? Uh, engineers, it means your health. Oh, I was going to say it's it's Irish for bottoms up. <laughs> Gaelic. Irish. Yep. It's Gaelic for bottoms up. Apparently, the Irish just call it Irish, but we know it is one of the Oh, do they really? I was yeah. trying to be funny. No, no. It's oh, just, okay. It's I, Irish it's, for it's, bottoms it's up. It's all a family of languages, which involves okay. uh, right. uh, Welsh and Scottish and a few other things, actually. But definitely. Cheers and good health. Cheers and good health. There we go. I love it. Health to you. Definitely. Uh, the engineer really? up oh. here was actually saying we should totally do a Playboy Mansion show. So I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> I am willing to redecorate a room to be the Playboy Mansion. <gasps> Hear me now. And believe me later. later. The Playboy, didn't they have like the grotto hot tub in the Playboy mansion? Yeah, they did. In the actual mansion, there was the hot tub. We need a grotto hot tub. Mm. With like could be fun. A performance platform. I think that the Oh my god, I would never leave. Not only, I would just be like, I'm here. The mansion did that because there were a lot of pictorials featuring playmates, like, devoting around the, the hot tub. Yeah. Which are not safe for work. Whereas Oh, thank show, you, Richard. I'm, I'm screenshotting excellent. your... Excellent. Oh, there we go. I'm screenshotting your link Boom so done. I can look at it yep. later. We'll take a look. The link is Easy. dropped, so you can check out Slyncha. Yes. Which is big fun, big fun. Oh my god, I'm I'm I all about this idea Playboy of a Grotto after, hot tub with a performance. I have platform. not seen an episode of Playboy After Direct with people in the hot tub. That might have been a little risque for TV. No, at I the feel time. like I did. I feel like I've seen that. So could be. Whereas the mansion itself uh, in Chicago actually it was I think it was an LA mansion too. Definitely had this like this rock grotto, which reminds me a lot of those pictures of what was that? Um Rick James House. Oh, Rick, Rick my God. James House was full of grottos. Yes. I think he was Google seriously, Rick James. <laughs> seriously influenced by Playboy Mansion, but definitely. Oh, Vicki Lawrence. Yes. <laughs> okay. Eric says, yes. And when Vicki Lawrence had a talk show, she interviewed Hav, and the grotto was mentioned, and she said, I hope he gets a good acid bath after all. <laughs> Right. Well, everything needs to be clean, folks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I grew up, my, my mother actually bought a house with an in-ground pool when I was about four years old. And when I, I got to a certain age, it's like I was the one cleaning the pool. But I also realized there's great value into that. Keep the pool clean. So, you know, I'm oh my gosh, Francis, 
I do photographed Diana Lee for Playboy. Bill, is there anything you haven't done? Just tell us, Bill. That's oh awesome. Oh my gosh. Wowza. I love your stories. <laughs> You've done everything. It's all around the place. I love it. And you know all these musicians. I mean, I was just a friend of mine was asking me recently about uh, Moby. Mama's family is the best. I oh, geez. Mama's family. Oh, yes. It's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. It was just this sketch that grew and grew. You know why? Because it's true. It's just so crazy it's true. true. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, the Clams did a Play Bunny Club show in New Haven years ago. The Electric Fez. Electric Fez, <laughs> no. <gasps> did, you, did you have Fezzes? I love the fact that there is an alternate psychedelic clams. Wait for my book. Oh, Bill. There you go. When you do your book, you have to There's appear no remotely on the Velveteen Lounge. I'm just saying. Now that we've shown it can be done, everyone's got to be remotely appearing on the Velveteen we have some correspondents here right now who would be interested to do yeah. that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Don't just think about it. Get in touch with us. Let's set it up. We have 52 shows a year, folks. Yeah. I'm just saying that this is basic. This isn't even show 26. So. Oh, my gosh. Bill says we're looking for a, a new house in South Florida. And all the 1960s houses have sunken oh, living rooms. The yeah. classic. Yeah. Can you do that in Florida? I guess you can. But they did do that. Yeah. I, I remember they a few have houses. basements, but. I remember a few houses like that. Although I remember a lot of split levels. That was a big thing back in the day. This is the only real remote view. I, think. <laughs> I love it. You know, seriously. I was just thinking that uh, a friend of mine recently had been buying records and he picked up a copy of the first album by The Moby Grape. And it was actually like promo and mono and everything. And I was like, wow, you know, that, like, that cost you some money. It did, too. And I was thinking about that record thing. Oh, I haven't actually played that in a while. I drop it on. I'm like, that just says it all about that era. I don't know. You, nobody knows why that wasn't bigger. Yeah, well, there was lots of problems around that group. But it's fantastic. What problems? Legal, for one. But oh, Richard plane, says I'll go live. Yeah, let's do it. I'm do all it, about it. Let's do it, sir. This was so much fun. And like we, now that we know we can do this, like I just want to have everyone on the show. If we have promo liquor to work with, we're mixing with it. We're sampling with Hell it. Oh yeah. We're telling people where to buy it. Hell yeah. That kind of stuff. I'm in. That's fantastic. In like and uh, in. you know, whiskey we use with regularity. Irish whiskey, absolutely. It is a distinct category. And I like this stuff. There you go. John, <laughs> hi, done. what's up? Yo, John. <laughs> oh, what about the pool scene in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I love, love, love that movie so much. Uh, you know, it's really a great picture because it's a love letter Ooh. both to Sharon Tate and to Hollywood. Create a small version of Velveteen Lounge headquarters. I love that movie so much. Yes. We're thinking too small. We need to just excavate our backyard and put in a pool grotto. <laughs> I would do a, an in-ground pool in the backyard if I could level it off. And you know what? My neighbor two doors down we did can. it. Clearly, it can be done. It can be done. My neighbor I'm, one door down was it. half thinking about it. And I said, oh, yeah, good idea. Although the hot tub on the roof is a better idea. So... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Infamous Carol Burnett Bluer caused by Tim Conway. Oh. Maybe Fleischman's Kick It you a sponsorship. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I have said for a very long time, we run a liquor show. And if any liquor distributor out there, like big company, wants to actually sponsor the show with a line of liquor, it's like, I'll feature your product exclusively. Just saying. It's easier to feature high-end liquor. I'm just saying. <laughs> but... Couldn't hurt. And, uh, you know, I have no doubt whatsoever that we're talking about a little slancha like whiskey. That's high-end liquor, folks. Just saying. But definitely. I mean, like the, we have great ideas. Sometimes these just require a little capital. That's all. Oh, my gosh. Lisa says, we have a sunken living room. The previous owners covered it up. <laughs> I put a floor over it. What? So it exists? I am wanting to uncover it and see what we can do with it. Do it. Well, that I, is so weird. I think we just found your project <laughs> for the next six <laughs> months. That's weird. 
we are very nearly at the sort of like middle of the year past the whole Memorial Day thing where it's like, what are you doing with the rest of the year? Opening up I the mean, I'm living excited room. for you for the excavation opportunity because uncovering stuff like that is fun. Like when we tore out the tile in our bathroom and we found old newspapers and old tile, that was fun. But then you knew when it was done. But they unnecessarily gave you a project. Thanks, guys. The mother's neighbor was always talking about her swimming pool. Why don't you just fill it in? And she's like, no, I'm having fun with it. I'm like, what are you talking about? We grew up with this thing. Of course. You I keep know. The pool. Why, would, why, would you, why would you get rid of a pool? I mean, I know a swimming pool Sorry. is a hole in the ground, which doesn't add any value to your house, but... For Pete's sake, if you have one, you Hi, Zach. Doing. Good to see you. That's just, it's too much. I mean, I miss that. I miss Zach having a place where I can the relax. Shirt. Well, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. I'm digging the dress over here, which is actually a... Baba Kia. Thank you. I'm trying to take the label. Uh, <laughs> John says, you haven't done it yet. Do WTF. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. We should People be making a lot more you. money. Oh. Uh, you know, we do what we do. We do what we do. We entertain you because you come here. Because we and we love it. And it is our job to entertain you. And we love it. And hey, you know, it's a, it's 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 a good thing. It, it's not like it's breaking my bank. We're actually doing this on what we can do. We're serving you excellent mm -hmm. drinks. Actually, if I were serving you drinks, I'd be sending them to you. Well, we're producing excellent drinks, and you can follow along. If you are a patron to the show, and you see the link at the bottom there, then uh, you get all these recipes tomorrow, and you get any content. Or tonight. Actually, probably late tonight. We'll you do. See. Come to think of it. Yeah. That's very We are true. currently enjoying the music of the Clams. The clams. A la Ceviche. Yes. Which is the latest. I'm going to drop the link again. The latest and is fabulous. But I don't need to tell you that. You're listening to it right now. Lisa, right? I know. Just like opening it up and seeing what's there is the Ooh. best, right? I remember a few features in 70s homes from back in the day from friends that I knew. And I always thought they were kind of cool. And the fact is, grew up. Flip my grotto. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Grew up in a ranch home, which had a really big picture window, which was very near a bay. It was it was beautiful. What can I say? You know, I did appreciate a lot of that while I was there. And if I didn't appreciate all of that, well, I can I can regret it now. But I did appreciate the swimming pool, particularly in the summer when it just got blasting hot, and you'd come home after a day of work, and it's like I'm going to fall in the pool and, and like float for hours. Every now these days, every time I find a pool. That's exactly what I do. And when you do, and you have a glass that looks like this, you need somebody on the sidelines who can keep refilling it from time to time. <laughs> Flip my grotto from the creators of Upgrade by Dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, MTV! I love it. Flip my grotto! You know? <laughs> no, I, like, true story. I was getting my hair washed one time, probably like a year ago, and... They have a big screen TV and they have like various TV on whenever you're there. And there was one of those flip my house shows and they had taken out this really, really fabulous turquoise stove unit and they left it in the driveway. And I thought, oh, they didn't trash it. They're going to use it in the new remodel. I'm such a child. They left it there the whole episode. They kept cutting back to it and everything. And then in the end, they had this like boring, ugly kitchen without that stove. It hurt my heart. And the original stove was run over by a steamroller at the end. Probably. I swear. We set it on fire what people and then do. ran a steamroller over it. You had a 1965 so caloric depressing. and you did that? Some people need to be held up on charges. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> John says, if I was sitting over a hidden sunken living room night after night, I literally wouldn't be able to watch TV, never mind sleep at night. That, I know, I know. <laughs> be lying in your bed going. <laughs> like, oh, take the sledgehammer. Like, we're getting through this. We're going to get through this now. It's John, that's just the telltale living room. It's just ticking at the back <laughs> of your head. Tick, 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 exactly. tick. I got to do this. 
<laughs> Give me a hatchet. Bang, bang, bang. That would be me. <laughs> we're getting through. We're getting through tonight. I love hidden spaces and homes where funny too. things happen. We I have actually, dreams about that all the time. I have uh, family friends who inherited a home that was the husband's oh, childhood yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they dug in, they found there was a secret space that had a bunch of liquor bottles. What do you know? It was the speakeasy. It was a little sacred place They're for me. Here. Hid booze in the twenties. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's awesome like that. I love poltergeist. Oh They're yeah, kind of great. Here. I tell you, who actually does not love both Estru Gilberto, uh, Shao Gilberto, and in fact, Sam Getz. I mean, that whole album, there's like uh, Guess Gilberto Volume 1 and Volume 2. Those are sort of the basis of a lot of these things. Verve Records, 1960s, fantastic. Introduced a lot of people to Brazilian Jimmy music Hoffa, at the time. <laughs> well, maybe him, but yeah. And uh, Dan is riffing on that. This is one of the classics of the genre. Cal Jader also on Verb oh, Records at the time. Sunken bathtub. Oh, oh interesting. Okay, fun. all right. I feel like we don't see that in New York. I haven't seen that much. Although sunken bathtub basically all. sounds like sunken hot tub, which that's a possibility. That's the kind of thing. Depends on how you design it. That's my goal. Yep. Well, hot tub is great for the joints and everything. It's a good idea. Stan gets what Stan wants. Obviously. Obvious. <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> what you doing there? Saw an article of a guy who built his living room around a pool so he could fish whenever. <laughs> I love that. That's so crazy. I that's so crazy that I love it. Crazy ideas. Oh, and Eric says I saw this video where this couple was filming themselves thinking they had discovered a hidden room and were using saws and stuff to open it. Turned out to be a bathroom from a neighbor. <laughs> Oops. Oh. The guy was on the toilet at the time. No. No. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just to show you that we're serious. That's Matrix. Here we have Gesheberto Volume 2. This is an actual 1967 uh, cartridge. It's tape hanging out the back. Yeah, I have to fix it. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Not. You're welcome. Yeah, there we go. So this is actually from what ITTC, yeah. Oh, fantastic record. Good stuff. Still can make that work, probably. And, of course, the classic Cal Jader Sounds Out Bacharach. I believe Gano owns this album. We own the it on LP as well, which is good. There's no extra tape hanging out the back. No, this is perfectly fine. This is a lot of fun. This is a great record. Definitely recommend both of those. And uh, have those. I don't know. We have that Gilberto uh, and Gets album on record. If not, then, well, that's an oversight. But whatever way you get it, it's good to know. And you can always just go to the streaming services and grab it. And if you're like, well, I don't know any of those, just go to YouTube. You can grab it. Easy. Personally, I, I just have music every week. I there, like the I said it. I said it. We've done music before on this show. People love it. I love it. We love it. And you get copyright strikes, so you really need to coordinate Maybe with we'll just artists. play the clamps every week. Could be so much worse. Could be so, so much worse. Can all be better. The simple fact is that uh, when we play music, people like it. I like it. And uh, it's only when these sources decided to get a little, like, you know, itchy about it that things happen. I've said for a long time I wouldn't mind trying Twitch well, because I think they're a lot more uh, conducive to such things because DJs Oh, use the no service. argument there. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm not willing to. suggesting willing to try it. that we should be stealing from artists. No. By the way. I'm not stealing anything. I'm just playing music. 
Artists fact, who've given us permission. Artists who give us permission get a lot of plugs for where to buy the music exactly. because I'm no dummy. This is provided because exactly. This is provided because I know music every Wednesday. Lisa's in. I know we should just ask the clans if we can just. I, you know? I will ask every band on it. Would you like to be featured? And away we go. Oh, enjoyed Mozzie D last week. I know, right? Oh, yeah. We love Rumbar Records I, too. I think we managed to move a few Mozzie D units, so to speak. Because so. you know, uh, those those links were available. There were three albums featured. There was uh, there was Mozzie, Angela Tatey, and the Lazes. Oh. You know, love them all. So good. They're doing different styles. Of oh, music Dan says all in. All right. Hard. Maybe hard. we'll just play the clams yeah, next week, clams. too. Clams everything. Ooh. It's Tolpe in Brazil. Yeah, but name name a stinky, stinky place. place. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was told by my former roommate, a uh, Brazilian American, that the, the Brazilian lyrics to Go from Eponema are a lot racier than the English. Okay. And you can grab it in Portuguese, throw it through a simple translator, and take a look. And you're like, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot more direct. But oh, Dime got his CD in the mail yesterday. I love it. I love it. Awesome. Yay. Woohoo. That's too cool. That's Copyrighted too verb cool. <laughs> yes, I know. Amy, we need to play Ed's Redeeming Qualities. We just mm -hmm. lost an Ed's Redeeming yes. Quality. Yes. As a matter of fact, yes. Hard out there. Uh, Amy did actually arrange that we could play all their material. Maybe we could and do that next week. Perhaps we put that whole show together, and now is now is beyond the time. Yes, I love it. It really is. Uh, their catalog is crazy. They do such fun songs. If you listen to my music in earbuds while filming, will you have to pay royalties? No, we don't pay. <laughs> Answer. But claims another friends. Yes, John, I love it. Oh, exactly. Hello. Anyone will give us permission. We'll happily play. I kind of feel like we could uh, tap the North uh, Northeast Surf Music Alliance mm -hmm. for groups and and have access to a lot of music that we could feature and point people to where they could get it. Yes, Diamond saying you and guys have a lounge and the that. clams are your house band. Yes. I'm okay with that. The usual suspects, yes. I don't know. Run up all the suspects. <laughs> the suspects? Well, they won't come. Well, I well, Gil will take care <laughs> of that. But definitely. Now I want a martini, but it's late. Actually, I want more bubbles. Do Where's you? Bubbles? I'll take bubbles. Oh. You like? Oh, I thank you. My lovely co host. Well, thank you. You look low. There's no way that sounds good. You look low. Let's pick you up. And give me some bitters while you're at it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Laura. Well, hello. Oh, my gosh. So we can annoy the other diners. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Laura. <laughs> That's Crank it up. <laughs> you know, our, we have a correspondent in um, Palm Springs. Who is a oh, Amy. Does, yeah, I'm sure you, Yes. I think the pandemic put the kibosh on that. Because once we went into lockdown, I was like, yeah, I, I lost the thread. But they did send me some stuff. So if you wouldn't mind. <sighs> the 2020. You know, you know how it is. The refresh. That's just the fact. Uh, who am I thinking of? There's no um, comment on them. Rory in Palm Springs at one point dropped a comment that he was at a stoplight in his hot rod. And I believe he, he drives a fairly contemporary Mustang. Pretty tricky. I know he's got something cool. He's got something else now. Okay, well, well, whatever. That happened. So he was <laughs> at a stoplight and he was playing the carpenters really loud. And the next car is looking at him like, what the hell, dude? And he's like, yeah, broom. And he just drives off. I'm like, go to town, man. That's just awesome. I have definitely played music fairly loud in the car. I'm like, whatever. I like it. I might be playing the Chambers Brothers. Well, can you get I'm low? happy with can you that. Get high, right? Can you hear there me this way, please? What you need? Oh, it's right. Yeah. Yes, thank Hello. You. Thank you. Ding ding ding. So ding. sticky back here. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Oh my gosh. The place where my mom lives has the 
largest, fanciest bar. It's like, we need this just to do install. our live broadcast. Just, we could just go live from there, couldn't we? I know. Can we just hmm. go up there and go live? We Wednesdays? could probably get <laughs> a vague sort of permission for such things. Oh, my God. It's it a rather beautiful. A large, like about this height, Ooh. marble top bar. And it's stocked. Wow. Okay, hold That's on. Good. John <laughs> says, I'm enjoying a key lime martini, vanilla vodka, liquor 43, liquor 43 fresh lime juice. Splash half and half. Ooh. That's not gonna great. <laughs> Love to have you. Oh. Enda says, come on down. Oh. Well, you that know that was what? a big bar with a sink behind it. She's got connections mm. and she could probably get us in there. I'm just saying. Uh, a big bar with a sink behind it. So the I first know. thing we'll do is feature Linda mixing a bloody Mary because she likes them. Wouldn't that be easy and fun? Uh -huh. to ask the questions to answer it. <laughs> Maybe we need to do a brunch broadcast. Mm. It's been a minute since we've done a brunch broadcast. We were just talking about the mystery machine, which brings up cartoons. And were that we? just begs so many questions, I got to say. But, you know, the old Bloody Mary and people just go nuts. And <laughs> a little bubbles, a little mimosa, people go nuts. Oh, Dime. Up. I would love to. Dime's got a bar in the basement. We could do a broadcast. Well, hello. Ka-ching. Okay, so our our working plan. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, as they used to say. We want to get like a sprinter or probably a transit van because we're not rich. Sprinter, and sprinters are not that much money. Sprinters are kind of a lot. But trick it out so that we can like sleep in it and bathe in it and stuff. And then just drive all around. Traveling hotel room. Exactly. We come to your town. We have you party it down. Yeah. We're an, Ameri we're an American booze show. Oh, we were going to do a brunch stream that fell through. I, you know, there was I'm point. always about doing a brunch stream. We're yeah. announcing it. Eric says, from Stephen Wright, I got pulled over for speeding. The cop says, don't you know you were going 70 miles an hour? I said, yeah, I know. But I figured I wouldn't be out too long. <laughs> <laughs> I love Stephen Wright. So what do you think? Brunch show. Excellent idea. Are you going to be here this weekend? That's a good question. Sunday. It'll be a Sunday. To make that happen. Hmm. But maybe a couple of weeks, we can make that happen much better. If not this next weekend, the weekend after that. The last time, one of the last times we were talking about cartoons, right. and we got on like Johnny Quest, and that subject went on for a while. But, you know, coolness is coolness. Oh, my gosh. Errol says, way off topic, but I flew to Houston yesterday and showed up to an oil company with a rental car. <laughs> it Hello. was a Tesla. Talk about making an impression. Hilarious. Gentlemen, your whole model is screwed. Go to hell. <laughs> you need to find a real realty player the lights on fire that gives your brunch location assignments. Hmm. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm going to share the link to the Clams website one more time. One more time. I'm actually looking at a real realty player right now. As a matter of fact, and I play our tapes on it, and uh, we have other players, and I play those on it as well. I've, I've got this dream where I actually source a huge amount of five-inch reels, and I can put them on my. Oh, board. Amy says I'm, I'll be seeing this. I'll be seeing Squeeze and the first, and the first thing I'm going to see. Oh, oh my god! No I would love to see that show. Be in touch. Oh, this song with Bill's awesome upright bass. All right, so give it up to Vindicator. I'm listening to it right now because Vindicator is taking it right right here, right now, people. I would see I, Squeeze uh, in the first in NYC, and don't you dare come to NYC without letting us know. Talk to us. We saw Aaron, after all, earlier this year. So we can make that happen, and we have been to NYC venues Within the past two months, <laughs> as a matter of fact, and, and seen some very high profile groups. And uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Do, 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 do. You've seen the links tonight to go and check out the Clams music. Please. 
go do so. You send some links to check out some videos. Hey, that's free. Go check it out. I even talked to you about like the oh, uh, Crystal Kodos tempted. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, Amy. Mm, I gotta check it out. Okay. So, Wait. brunch appetizer idea: toasted baguette slice spread lightly with cream cheese with cube spam, cube pineapple, sweet pepper jelly. John, that sounds amazing. That's why you're a chef and I make cocktails. Yes, exactly. That sounds amazing. But I would make that. I would make that for sure. I would sure. grill the hell out of the spam so it's just like totally toasted in the papa down there. Oh, wow. Oh, patiently waiting for the Mai Kai to open up here in Fort Drunken Tale. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a it's been a good while since I've been to the Mai Kai. Uh, let me let me say something. Like but you, I will be there when it real. Young comes. punk yeah, yeah. is not for 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 Zringadale. It's actually f f known as for Liquordale. Get it straight, <laughs> will you? You know the simple fact. I can tell stories about Fort Drunken Tale, but I'll well, save it for when we all get together. We've been there a few person. times, and uh, that don't involve me. I was not no, driving. I was, I I was, was not driving, and neither I was he. Driving and even driving. I'm sorry, I had to see why I. It was. It's. It's not liquor to us. It's I wasn't driving. Neither was he. Just a place that's <laughs> on the beach, people. My guy is actually doing his damnedest. They have had financing within the past six months or so which allows them to be able to recreate because the joint is now pushing 70. Oh my and, God, that's crazy. And like, you know, concrete will wear out. So they need some help to get that going. So they have a whole consortium that's actually making that happen. And all I can say is that just, you know, it warms the heart. I have this strange idea at the back of my head that somebody's going to come along and go to Saugus and say, Hey, you got a Tiki bar here. We should actually make that keep going. And just buy out the idea and keep going because the family has been doing it for a very long time and they're kind of done and i understand but they're just an institution and they're basically the second largest wasting away again in, in velvetinaville <laughs> i'm gonna make a screenshot of that i would like to me screenshot up. that that's hilarious we stand away again velvetinaville rip off <laughs> and if any simpsons fans out there will get that in relation to the Simpsons, is highly overrated. No, but definitely, we're we're here to just <laughs> we're just oh. here to provide some entertainment on a Wednesday, people. That's all it is. Called you Captain Quaid. You were like Captain Quaid. What? Do you remember that? <laughs> Captain Quig, damn it! No, yeah, it was Captain. Oh, I don't actually remember that because <laughs> there are certain things from that period I don't remember. But the fact is that's hilarious, and I'll remember that it now. That is funny. But definitely. Check out the Captain Quad channel. Give me some love. I don't actually post too much to it these days, but I need to post a lot more because I have a lot more. So we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> is it time? Well. All right. It's about that time. I will let you take it away. Shall we? The simple fact is... We got a very subtle request or a subtle idea from Dano to just do a clans broadcast. And we thought, oh, let's get take it, get that together. We put it together. Bam, it happened. It just takes days. It wasn't that much work. Well, no, it was my idea to do a clans broadcast, it was your idea. by the way. Okay, it on. was my idea. Dan picked up on it. So, so there we go. Yes. But... He has a recording studio. He was able to patch in the entire yes. band through the mixing board to go through the broadcast. Sounded great. The band played. You were able to see them here. We were able to feature them. That's fantastic. Your band could be here too. Make it happen. But the clans, the clans may just be our house band because, I mean, I love them. We're listening to them right now. I, if I'd actually What's like thought about love? it ahead of time, I would have more CDs to play. But we're listening to them. As What's not to speak. love? You know, we've dropped a few links on you tonight about where you can get merchandise from the clans. Follow them. Go grab it. Check it out. You want some CDs? Bang Zoom. Do you have any special requests? Remember that people look no, at this cover. Everyone. People look at this cover and they say, oh, we're going to get the LP. This doesn't exist. This exists. Clans Before the Storm is available right now on LP. Ceviche is not. But Ceviche... 
could be if the demand is high enough. So get together a bunch of requests. It's not even that many. And you can produce an album oh, for... Thank you, everyone, so much. Ceviche. I'm seeing your comments. and Look, I would buy a ceviche I'm LP. I'm appreciating it so much. So remember, if you want a ceviche LP, you've got to chime in here. You can yes. always get in touch with us or Dano or, or Dano through us. My ego we'll make depends it on it. <laughs> Just say. If we have I'm enough kidding. requests, I'm kidding. we could solidify that and make things happen. It's kind of difficult to produce a record these days. No but kidding. it is not impossible. And I love it. I mean, it's also not kidding. Yeah. Seriously. Claim caravan. Ah. Hilarious. I know. And, and if you're into a brunch broadcast, let us know because I, I love those. Did somebody Probably say. Probably not this weekend because you might be gone Saturday, yeah. but like I mean, the next weekend. Next week when you're going to have it. Hey, did somebody just name check Spinal Tap? Anyway. So. The simple fact is, you know where to find the Clams product. Check it out. Yes. If you're watching the rebroadcast, you're missing links. Get in touch with us now, and we'll point you the right direction. It's not that. Yes, hard. Dime. You should be able to get the digital download too if you buy the LP. Buy the LP, get the download. If anybody would like the earlier Clams material currently unavailable, get in touch with Dano. He can make files available. We need to do an episode of the Clamo Van. Yes! I'm all about it. Come on! I am all about it. Get in touch about days because I am all about it. The Clamo Van with the portable... We can just drive around. <laughs> portable drink maker, tea maker, <laughs> and hi-fi. <gasps> Oh, good night, Moon. The Eric Clem says the, the Clamo van is the only vehicle in the world equipped for the Auto Victrola in 2023. I'm just saying, nobody else does this. Oh. Nobody, nobody does. I this. guess next week is too soon, right? Because I am all about that. That would be like the best episode ever. <laughs> We can make such things happen. We keep talking about Glendora's wine tour. Well, I know. Well, I know. And I have not forgotten. It's just, you know, it's back like of the head. Short film. If Amy is still just here, saying. she has promised to actually help us get that together. She has more organizational ability than I do. Yes. I yes. just have big ideas, folks. Right. Really. But fantastic stuff has been happening. We're still talking to you. You're still listening. Oh, too much. But, you know, not too much. <laughs> This too is much, a reasonable amount of music. <laughs> Fantastic, good stuff happening tonight. Thank you so much for being Amy with says us. Amy says I'll help. Oh, please, please. You're the best. Yep. Oh. Okay. Any, mu any musicians I'm tonight? I'm still into it. I'm still into it. Any musicians tonight who are like, I'd like my band featured, get in touch with us. We'll we'll figure out how to set that up. It's not hard. There is always the possibility of just appearing right here on our stage. We're here on stage. Jeffy and our daddy room. We have the Dave Clark Five. You know, you could do. You could be the Dave Clark Five right here. Not a big deal. I, you could be the Dave Clark Five. Can you play a really good version of Bits and Pieces? Just ask. But you know, th these things could happen. Not a big deal. Oh, where should we go in the VLK Clamo Van episode? <gasps> hmm. Oh. Hmm. Every place I can think of is too far away. We have some fantastic local places that you could visit and make things. No, I feel like we could go to like Wildwood. If you want to venture that far, it's far. It would be a really is. long episode. Which it is. Like, but there I are don't know. I'm thinking places. like in my like Wildwood. There are places within the Hudson Valley that are worth visiting. Some really good really? places. There are. Oh, Jet Set, but yep. that but that's close. That's not close. That, not that far. Not that far. Uh, so mm, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it we'll out. Figure it out. If you'd like to be figured, there you go. Oh yes, yes. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, there's things happening right there. Okay. All right. All right. He's he's signaling. Clamo me. Van turn. You're signaling I me. I love, love, love the Clamo I can Van. I can go for another five so hours, much. but so what? I got to yeah. work in the night. I got to work tomorrow. I haven't been working here, have I? Blah blah blah. No, we what? have been working. We've been <laughs> delivering great content to you. Thank you, Dano. E Los Clams. Yes, so much fun. Oh, Thank you. Just fantastic. We're leaving them right now. <laughs> Crazy, but they played live for you. 
Have you missed it? Go watch the rebroadcast. It's right there. Oh, I bet when right you get into you. Village Diner, I'm just saying. I bet Maria would Maria allow Contacts that. <gasps> loves to do a cross promo. Crazy stuff happens. Village Diner. But she serves a great crowd. We serve a great crowd here every week. I am so thankful that you show up yes. and uh, watch what we're doing. Watch what I'm pick up when I'm laying down because we're just doing this for entertainment. That's all. And if we have an audience, I got something to do. It's fantastic. Thank you. Some people say it makes our week. I'm like, oh, geez. What do, makes I, what our do, week I, too. What do I say? It makes my week. It makes my week to see you. Makes our week too. So next week, I don't know yet, but we're going to figure it out. We have a sort of brunch in the works again because people love it. There's a Clemo Band tour in the works. Uh, oh, this is uh, yes, crazy. yes, yes. I love crazy. We have a whole thing I happening. <laughs> we have a whole thing happening at Lake George. We have we don't plan. That's kind of awesome, too. We just show up and, ha and have fun. We'll broadcast from there, too. Well, and, we'll try. And the simple fact is we'll try. that no matter where you are. Oh, clams were hot. Steaming hot. Wicked hot. <laughs> steam us. Wicked hot steam us. I love it. Look at you. Oh, it's a clam bake on the beach. It's oh. a clam bake featuring Elvis. No matter where you go, and no matter what you do, always remember, we will see you soon. Good night. <laughs>